Hey YouTube, you're watching Brett's App of Help, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 4.3 device. So for proof that I am running 4.3, you can see right there that the new FaceTime logo, newer and updated one, and let's go to uh, General, About, and you can see right there, 4.3. You can go here and Cydia, open this up, and it'll load up Cydia so you can see proof that I am running 4.3. So the tool that we are going to be using for this jailbreak is Snowbreeze 2 or Snowbreeze 4.3 uh, Beta 1. So let's go to my computer and let's get started. Okay guys, so I was right, this is actually Snowbreeze 2.3 Beta 1, not 4.3 Beta 1, so um Oops. But um, anyways, there's just a few things that I wanted to let you know about this jailbreak. First of all, it is available for every single iDevice that runs 4.3, except for the iPad 2, so that is the iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, um, not the 8GB 3rd generation iPod Touch, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, the iPhone 4 GSM only along with the 3GS and just the original iPad, the iPad 1, not the iPad 2. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means that whenever you want to, um, whenever your device turns off and you want to turn it back on again, you're going to be needing to run iBooty. If you do not run iBooty, you can still turn it on, but a lot of your uh, Cydia applications along with Cydia it won't work properly. So every time you boot your device, you are going to be needing to use iBooty for 4.3, and I will show you how to do that at the very end of this video after we've gone through Snowbreeze. And the last thing I wanted to share with you about this jailbreak is there is no unlock. So if you're an iPhone user and you rely on unlock, you cannot upgrade to 4.3 and expect ones because there just isn't one. So that is a few things to keep in mind. And anyways, let's get on with this tutorial. So, as you can see right here on the screen, I have Snowbreeze 2.3 Beta 1 highlighted. If you want to download, or you are going to be needing to download this, and the link will be in the description below. It is a .zip file, which means that it is only available for Windows users. So, the Mac equivalent is on its way. I do not know the ETA on that. So, um, anyways, let's keep going with this. So, I have extracted that right here, and you can see that. And you're also going to be needing one more thing for this. It is the IPSW for 4.3. If you want to pick this up, go to felixbruns.de and you just hit the little drop down menu and you can select your device along with your firmware. And again, I'll have the link in the description below so you can check that out. And anyways, let's load up Snowbreeze. And first, let's zoom out here so you can see it. So load up Snowbreeze. And then click yes. And the software is for commercial use only. Click yes, get through this. And here's some of the credits, you can read that later on. And there's a whole bunch of red here, so I'll just go through this. This is really only for people who want it, so um, this is, again, a beta, so there are a lot of issues with this. Uh, for one, I have noticed that whenever I sleep my iPod, if I want to wake it up, um, it doesn't even re respond, it just stays as a black screen. So usually what I have to do is just power it into my computer or any other power source and then it'll start responding, the screen will light up and all the other stuff. So that's just one thing that I've noticed with this. I've only been on it for about 5-10 minutes. But that's just one thing I've noticed and it is doing it for me, well at least turning on. But um, it sometimes does it, it sometimes it's not, so that's one thing. And another thing is that a lot of your Cydia applications are not going to be working properly, they're either just not going to work or they're going to have a few bugs in them so that's something to keep in mind this is only if you really really want to do this if you are still on 4.2.1 just stay there until a proper 4.3 jailbreak is out so that is something to keep in mind just stay away for now um, anyways this is a tethered via this is tethered via iBooty which I have already explained and I'll show you at the end of this video how to use it uh, mobile subs uh, mobile substrate does not work properly. Again, I've explained that. Unlockers only, only use base band preservation, base band preservation mode if you really need to. So I do not have an iPhone, so I can't really 
show you what that is. And um, Alter Snow is currently broken in 4.3, so as I said before, the unlock does not work for 4.3. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's just hit the blue button to continue. And are you seriously sure you want to do this? Yes, we are. So click yes. And here is where you select your IPSW that you downloaded from Felix Bruns. So you need to drag this in or browse. This is browse. That's mine right here. Open. Now it's going to be identifying. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. It's going to take about a minute or two. So I don't want to bore you with this. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. So that was actually pretty quick. It is finished and it has identified my iPod Touch 4 and the little check mark thingy right here. So it is identified. And I just want to let you know I'm very sorry for the quality of this current picture. I have no idea I was wanting to not focus, but I am sorry. But let's keep going and hopefully you can follow. Right, but let's click the blue button right here to continue. And then you can either select simple or expert mode. Uh, simple. If, simple is if you just want a simple jailbreak with no special little features or anything if you just it's just city yeah, that's all it is um, there's nothing too much to this let's just do expert mode so continue and here you have all these options so you have general and unlocks there's no custom boot logos at least for my device and then custom packages let's just start with general and here you can enable springboard modifications and the only one that is available is battery percentage so I'm gonna turn that on um, activate the iPhone or activate again no iPhone can't show you I have no idea what it is um, install SS or SSH and I'm just gonna leave that alone for now uh, root partition size don't touch this guys if unless you know what you're doing just leave it at 950 megabytes don't touch this and um, press the boot button here and here you can install your .deb files this is the custom applications that you have uh, for Cydia I'm not gonna do this since I have none uh, download the packages again not gonna really do much with this manage sources this is where you can add your sources you just type in your source here and then click add and it'll add it into the IPSW that you are about to build so press the blue button again once you've gone through undone all your modifications you can click build IPSW and then click the blue arrow here and then it will start to build your IPSW so this is going to be taking about 10 to 20 minutes depending on your computer so I'll be back as soon as my IPSW has been built Okay guys, so Snowbreeze has finished, and all you need to do now is click OK, and then you'll be prompted with this DFU Pwner. So all you need to do is enter DFU, and um, so I'm just going to plug in my device. So I got my iPod Touch right here, and I'm just going to plug it in. So there we go, it is on. And all you need to do now is just follow the on-screen instructions. So let's go through this. Please turn off your device. So turn it off. Wait for this. Slide the power off. And okay, there it's off. Um, now what you'll need to do is just click Start right here, and prepare to hold the Home and Power button. So both at the same time. See the little counter right there. and prepare to release the power button now so you're just holding on to the home button and keep doing this for about 30 seconds and there you go I'm just gonna keep holding it you should keep doing this until you see like a white screen or something like that and your device has entered pawn DFU state black screen you can actually release your power or your home button right now and um, you may now launch iTunes and do Shift Restore to the custom Snowbreeze IPSW located on your desktop. Note, if you get error 2003 in iTunes after extracting, just unplug, then re-plug in your device and do it again. So that's a little thing it says there. Now it's just going to be doing a little cleanup here, so there it is, done. And you can exit out of Snowbreeze. Then you will notice that you have the firmware on your desktop right now. So there is mine. Snowbreeze iPod Touch 
4.3 or 4.3. So now let's just open up iTunes. Okay, so now that it has loaded up, you will get the I, uh, little message in iTunes saying that iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must recover, or you must restore rather, this iPod before you use, it can be used with iTunes. So click OK. Then what I want you to do is hold, so press Shift and then click Restore. So Shift Restore. And then you should be brought up with this. If you don't get this, hit the little X thing right here. So it'll stop it. And uh, you can see right here, I'll zoom in again, a little snow breeze up at touch 4 4.3. And this is on my desktop, so click this and then click OK. And then it'll just have another thing saying iTunes will erase and restore your iPod or uh, whatever you have to iOS 4.3 and, ver and will verify the restore with Apple. So you just hit restore. And then it'll extract the firmware or software and all you need to do now is just sit back and let iTunes do its thing and again I will be back once it is done. Okay guys so my iPod has finished restoring and you can see Cydia right here but if you tried opening it that will happen so again that's gonna happen so we're not done yet there's a few more things we're gonna need to do so uh, once you have finished using Snowbreeze you should notice that you have a little file here. Zoom in again. And it's iBooty for iOS or for 4.3 or 4.3. And all you need to do is just open this up. And then you'll see these two files. Hold on, there we go. iBooty and files, just leave that alone. iBooty, so this is the application you're gonna to need to run. So open this up. And here you go. This is the tool that you're going to be needing to use every single time that you turn off and want to turn on your device again. So this is a very simple program. All you need to do is select your device down here in the little drop down. And I bought touch 4, so you click that. And then you can hit start. So again, it's basically the same thing that you use for getting into DFU. It's the same steps. So I'm going to demonstrate this again for you. I'm going to zoom out so you can see and I have my iPod here so um, I'll just simulate, I'll turn it off so wait for this and little spinning wheel, there we go so it is off it's off um, so just hit start and then prepare to hold home and power so now for 10 seconds and prepare to release the power button but keep holding the home so now and it's about 30 more seconds so I just keep holding until you see a little white um, screen and let's just ignore iTunes for now close out of this and there you go the little white screen and you can see the little green bar running across there you can let go of your home button now and let it do its thing. And there you go, iBooty has finished. And you can just close out of iBooty and then wait for your iDevice to turn on. And I'll be back as soon as, it, as soon as it is done. So there you go guys, you have now installed Cydia on your iOS 4.3 device. And again, to prove that this is on 4.3, I will open up General About. And you can see right there, 4.3 and I do have Cydia on here so Cydia then it'll load it up and you can see all this stuff right here this will load it up and zoom in again here iPod touch 4 and then iOS 4.3 so that is more proof that this does run on iOS 4.3 but again, this is a beta jailbreak, so there are a lot of issues with uh, City applications, along with just the overall device itself running the jailbreak. So um, I hope you have liked this tutorial. And if you have any problems or issues, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, like this up, it really helps me out a lot, along with subscribe, the little button up there. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Have a nice day.